Hi everyone, it's Hannah from My Stem Kits and I'm here to talk to you about our Energy Roller Coaster Kit. So this is great for doing any sort of potential kinetic energy exercises that you might do in your middle school or high school classroom. But once you print it, there are a few assembly things you need to do before you can use it. So first, the spool needs to be de-supported. So simply use pliers and then you can break off the supports and there are supports on the inside of the model too. But once it's all the way de-supported, it'll look something like this. Next, in order to capture it on any sort of slow motion video, you'll take a Sharpie and simply draw a black dot right in the center of the spool. The last thing you need to do is ready your ramp. So this one also has lines built right in that you'll want to accentuate with a Sharpie. Use the side of the marker and run it down the point. And you can see that that part is ready for slow motion video. These are evenly spaced lines, so it'll be really easy to tell just how far horizontally the spool has traveled. Now there's one more thing you might not think to do. Because if I start rolling this down the ramp right now, it doesn't work too great. Because even though I removed the supports, I didn't reduce friction. Once you've done that, it'll roll very smoothly down the ramp. So, you'll want to go in with the pliers and sort of scrape away all of the excess filament right around the spool. And once you've done that on both sides, you want to also reduce the friction on the ramp itself. The way to do that is to take the spool you're going to be using and just shake it back and forth rotating it as you do along the ramp. This will eliminate any points of friction that you would have on your ramp. So if you notice any areas that are a little bit tight, I'm getting some tightness right here. I just want to really accentuate roping out that part so that it's good to go. Once it feels perfectly smooth, now you get better motion, but I'm noticing a spot here. So you'll want to do all of this before you, ha you pass it out to your students because you don't want them thinking that the science doesn't work just because there's too much friction. Fixed up that area, and I'm going to try again. There we go. Perfect example of potential and kinetic energy. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.